In this video, we're going to cover the normal startup procedure for the Telesis F14 controller. This is for the FQ series lasers. Um, this one will shut down normally via software. You can see there's still power to the unit, although it's not turned on. That's what this light here is. This is the power on switch. I'm going to press this. And the unit will start up. Uh, you can hear it starting up there. And right now I'm going to go tell you what these switches here are for. This is the key switch. If your key is removed, you can't start it up. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. That's the first thing you do. This is the laser warm-up light. This will tell you it's starting at 60 second normal warm-up. While it's doing that, I'll explain what the rest of these are. This is the laser enable switch. Once it's warmed up, this actually turns on the laser and allows it to emit radiation. This is the shutter open and close switch. Closed is red, open is green. This is the pointer. This actually turns on a laser pointer, just like one you'd use uh, you know, around the house or whatever. And this will work whether the shutter is open or closed. Again, this is the warm-up indicator light. This is the fault light. This button is an emergency stop, which will shut the system down and force you to go through the whole restart. The little blinking light here is the hard drive uh, working indicator. So. As you can see, the, the software actually started up and is now running. So Merlin is actually running even though this unit is not yet fully powered up. Okay, this has come on steady. This means the warm-up cycle is done. Press the enable button. The emission light here will blink five or six times and then stay on, which now means the laser is fully powered up and can emit radiation. There's also on the top of the laser head, there's a remote indicator light that is the same as this, so when it's on on the head, someone looking there can know it's also ready. At this point, we can open the shutter. You see it goes from red to green. And if we so desire, we can turn on the laser pointer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the power off to this by turning the power off to the whole system and then turn it back on, leaving the key switch on, the uh, shutter switch in the open position and everything else is the same. Now, like most Windows equipment, when it's recovering from a power off situation, it will automatically restart. And you can see I didn't have to turn this back on. It's going through the warm-up cycle. Now there is two safety features built into this. That is one, even when it recovers from a power off situation like that, it will not self-energize. You will need to re-energize it by pushing the uh, laser start button. And the other thing is, the shutter will not open from the open position. I'll show you that in just a second. As soon as it gets warmed up. Okay, push the start button and you can see it's starting up. Now it's fully energized, but you notice that even though the switch is in the open position, the shutter is not open. The only way you can open it is from the, initially, is from the closed position. And that's so that there's no way that if, if there's a power off situation and you have a, uh, a technician that say is in there working on it and the power comes back on that this thing cannot start back up start a marking program and lay something onto the back of his head that he probably doesn't want um, so that's just the startup procedure if you have any questions you can always call us here at the office or you can call your sales rep it's pretty straightforward 
When shutting down, generally you would turn off the key switch, which de-energizes the laser and turns off the power to the, the uh, shutter so it will remain closed. And then you would just close out the software and the unit will shut down like it's doing right now. eventually and you can see that when the software shuts down completely the whole system shuts down and the only power to the unit is the power that's going to the on switch so you can start it back up